Hello, and today we're playing Thanatos. Now, I know I haven't played Thanatos in a very long time, so I said, what better way to do it than today? And we're going to go for the win streak. So I'm only going to end this video when I lose a match. All right, so the first match up here today, we actually have a level 20 Ymir. That skin just looks magnificent, the golden ice cream cone skin, and a level 20 Wukong on the enemy team. While on my team, we have the mighty Zeus himself, and I'm trying my best to peel for my ally, paying attention to him while I'm getting rid of the Ymir. And the reason for that is simple. I think Zeus has an easier time dealing with Sun Wukong compared to Ymir due to his freeze breath right here. Oh no, I missed it. Oh, that's not good. And I got stunned there and walked into that. Now I got to try to 1v2. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. That was a very nice icicle boom with that air heavy attack. I could have turned it around, maybe probably hitting him behind me, but then I don't think I would have made it back on the platform. I do glide around that. I think I'm going to get knocked out here. Yes, GG for that first round. They did a fantastic job. All right, so what I'm going to do for this next round is I'm going to go with the mindset of I'm going to let my partner go forward. and I'm just going to be full support mode right now, looking to land like right here. He should get the icicle. I get the Wukong. Nice auto attacks on him, knocking him back, dropping back. Ooh, nice little wall with that hold heavy. Going to hit the Ymir in here and use his wall against him, basically doing the Ymir combo. They're both very high on vulnerability. Ymir should be at 80% soon. With that boulder, he's at 98%, and that means he's in that deadly purple range. Looking to drop my inner up. I do get the Wukong, which means I'm also healing up and I get frozen. I wasn't able to hit my mobility fast enough. I'm gonna re engage here. He dodges out, so I'm gonna dodge back. I do have my scythe. Zeus is doing a fantastic job staying alive right now. The scythe comes in, knocks back the Yermir, which actually eliminates him straight out from the game. We get that air light into air heavy with the interrupt, giving us the second round victory. Zeus did a fantastic job. Now, I would not have been able to do most of the things right there if Zeus was not able to tank most of it and do a fantastic job landing where he can now survivability remember that guys Thanatos is the perfect support in the game currently nice light attacks I missed it so I'm going to re-engage here with my mobility saving the Zeus as he was frozen air light into air heavy on the golden ice cream cone knocking him back he's at 62% I'm trying to get him to 80 as fast as possible and they're going very hard on my buddy right here is this going to be the elimination no it isn't he does have his icicle and Sun Wukong is in the sky Zeus comes with the thunderstruck going in for the hold heavy and I miss it completely the dashing strikes does catch me but I do have my mobility. I'm going to buy my time with the sky, waiting to see where they're going to come up. And there it is. You see the Ymir not able to be knocked out because he's super sturdy. I think I got the interrupt and Zeus comes up with a nice mega punch right there. Now it's just the Sun Wukong to deal with. Okay, I need to dodge and be very careful. Zeus gets knocked out by the boulder and the Wukong is actually... But wait, where'd the clone go? I think the clone got eliminated and the real Wukong actually eliminates Zeus. He was at 69% vulnerability right there, getting that healing using my ultimate. He was able to avoid me completely. So what I'm going to do now is just buy time. Wait for an opportunity like right there as he drops down. I timed it perfectly with the scythe, allowing me to eliminate him out. I think this goes to show the power of Thanatos. The main issue I have with Thanatos is when I get lackadaisical, basically stating that when I don't actually try as hard. Thanatos is one of those characters, in my opinion, that you do need to try. And that's just the difficulty curve. All right, so we need to 1v2 here very early. Poor Zeus, he got hit on that little corridor right there. If he didn't, he probably would have been able to survive. So what I'm going to do right here is try my best to 1v2. If not possible, then guess what I'm going to have to try? We're going to have to go into the next round. Good interrupt right there into the side of them both back. Interrupting with air light air heavy. Gonna collect this health orb, take to the sky, and buy myself time. I think I might just use this platform as a way to gauge my enemies right now. So when they're coming off here, as you see, I'm trying everything to knock them off. Able to dodge. Thankfully, the scythe hits both of them, knocking them back. Can I get the interrupt? Perfect. It wasn't on both of them, but I do get some healing ores back. I have my ultimate, and again, I'm staying on here. And they're playing so safe, it's allowing my plan to work. This is why your environment in Divine Knockout is super important. That's the clone getting knocked back. The real one is waiting for the health orbs. I do have my ultimate and the intro. I'm going to see if I can get an interrupt here and i miss it completely so looking to get this hit off i got my ultimate as he steps in nope they did not step in the scythe completely misses so we're going to look to use our ultimate here we do grab the ymir perfect little dark vader choke eliminating him out of the matchup now we just got to get the wukong i think i'm doing a pretty good job using the inner up closer to me but it didn't work i might get eliminated here thankfully i did it he didn't hit me with anything heavy and I, my vulnerability wasn't too high so as you can see i used the hover i didn't re-engage it there goes the scythe allowing me to get the health orb off 
Now it's just 95% Sun Wukong, and he runs straight into that air heavy attack. That could have been it if we were closer to the edge. He used his dodge already. I do get those healing orbs into the scythe, and that should be GG, giving us the victory for the first round. Now, that's actually pretty incredible in my personal opinion, and I'm super excited. So the win streak is one currently right now. We're going to try to see if we can get a second or third. My goal is to get five. Before I get my first loss, I want to get at least five wins with Thanatos. And on my team, we have Loki, who's hiding behind the bookshelves. On the enemy team, an Izanami and Hercules. Very nice team i think izanami is probably one of the best support people in the game i shouldn't say support he's just one of the best teammates you can have in the game in my personal opinion all right so we're going here and they're going very hard on my buddy loki over there so i'm going to try to peel for him a little bit he's invisible and i missed that so let's see she should be coming out so i dodged right there just to avoid into air light air heavy sometimes i anticipate a little too early but you kind of have a gist of what's going to happen it's not always correct She's at 69% vulnerability right now. I was able to dodge away, knocking her into the bookshelves. She and Hercules are in purple. There comes out the scythe in the perfect timing. And she uses the fear. Thankfully, Hercules knocks me out. So I'm just going to kill some time while I'm in the air right there. I think they're just knocking around. Loki, get the inner up into the hold heavy. That should be the Hercules right there. Now it's just to deal with the Izanami. All right. So as you can see, the Loki missed all his attacks. I go in for my ultimate and she simply dodges it by walking away into the scythe. And there goes the GG giving us the first round victory. That was actually a very smooth game plan. I'm very happy about that. So we're going into round two right here. Now, I need to be very careful. So when it comes to Hercules, Hercules normally plays two ways depending on the player. He can either play super aggressive and wait for his partner to be the sport no matter what the partner is, or he can be the support, and I think that's where Hercules shines. Hercules, as the main person to attack, doesn't always work out. They both stood there, allowing me to re-engage. I almost got the hold heavy off, but she dodged with the perfect time. Dodging right there, and I get hit out by the Hercules shield tackle. Now, the problem here is, every time Hercules seems to be hitting me, the Izanami could have eliminated me out, and the Hercules comes and saved me. All right, need to dodge there. Am I going to make it back on? Yes, I do. And the Loki gets eliminated. Now it's a 1v2, but I somehow survived that charge. That actually should have probably been my elimination, as I realized that Hercules also not able to make it back on the platform. So this works out into the site, keeping her out on the edge of the map. Can I catch her as she comes in? We're going to find out right here. Nope. But she also dodges perfect timing, and then I go in for my ultimate, which allows me to grab her. This is going to be her elimination, giving us the second round victory. Now, if in round three I do eliminate one of them, I'm going to allow the Loki to 1v1, simply because I think that was fair. It just came into my mind, that's what I should have been doing the whole time. Alright, so as you can see there, we're starting off round three. I do use the interrupt perfectly on the Hercules' charge. That exactly is what I was waiting for. He does have his pounce, going to dodge through right there into the hold heavy. He walks straight into it, then try to get some light attacks with that boomerang, man. That boomerang is doing such a good job. I think the synergy between this enemy team is a little off, simply because of how the Hercules keeps countering the Izanami, but that's okay. Getting him right here, this should be the elimination. Now it's just to allow these two to 1v1. And I think she may have a good chance against the Loki, but we'll find out. And Loki goes straight in for that air light, and they're both standing on the side. Loki pops his GG emote. I'm going to stand right here. I am not going to re-engage, allowing them to 1v1. Hopefully they understand. If they don't, well, you know what happens. If she starts to attack me, I'll just eliminate her. She catches the charge on the Loki, knocking him back off the edge. She's at 81% using her ultimate. Loki gets feared. She goes and knocks him, eliminates him out. Now the GG comes out. We're going to... Oh, no. Okay, so she did the GG and hopped off. I guess she realized she didn't have a chance. That's totally okay. It happens. Now, with that being said, we got two points in our win streak, and I'm excited to see if we're going to be able to win in the next round and keep this win streak going. What is your most amount of wins with Thanatos? That's a very good question. I think the most amount of wins I've ever gotten of him is probably six or seven, but in general, I don't have a lot of massive win streaks, I'll be honest with you. All right, so we're going up against an Izanami on a Zeus. That is a really heavily decorated team, and my partner is Hercules. Hercules is going to get bullied by these two. I already see that, and it's simply because Hercules against these two is very difficult to play. Oh, that was a nice surge from the Zeus's part. The Izanami with the nice support charge, keeping me on my toes. I'm not able to peel for my ally as much as I want to, which is very bad. Because if I don't peel for him enough, he's going to get eliminated. And having to 1v2 these two isn't going to be the easiest thing. I tried to get a light attack, but as you can see, the Zeus support came in and he used Thunderstruck. She is invisible, so I'm going to take to the sky right now. Where is she going to be? She's on my left side. I'm going to look to see if I could eliminate the Zeus or the Izanami. I missed my light attacks. My range seems off. Oh, no. I could have gotten that. She's going to pull me in a little closer, and I dodge just to avoid that. And I get edge guarded pretty easily by the Zeus. Izanami did hit me back, allowing me not to get hit by that lightning bolt i do have my ult i'm gonna try my best to land it right here on somebody and i missed that did not work in my favor I'm going to reactivate right there did not get the health orb 
but I was able to knock them both back. I don't know where Zeus is, I'm not really paying attention, but this should be the elimination on the Izanami. Now it's just to deal with the Zeus. So I have my dodge, so I have nothing to worry about right here. A simple dodge, wait for him to come down, and light attack, light attack. We do interrupt it with the Thunderstruck, but I get him again there. He's in purple range. My Scythe is coming in. Air Light, Air Heavy actually gets it off. GG. Taking the first round back for my team in that 1v2. That was actually really difficult. I'm not going to lie to you. These two are pretty decent players. I, I haven't played Thanatos in the longest time. At least in 1v1 and 2v2 anyways. I play them a lot in 3v3. Now, with that being said, these two actually have really nice synergy. And I think that's something that can be showcased in this video. When you watch the last video with the Izanami and the Hercules, the synergy wasn't really there. These two, however, are working very good to support and rotate with each other. That they're able to do so much damage to one of us. And they're literally steamrolling us. So... With that being said, I'm going to try to eliminate her here. I might get the elimination. Yes. All right. So I'm going to allow these two to 1v1 in the corner here. Purple Blue Lean, who's playing Zeus versus Muddy Paws, who's trying to stay next to me, expecting me to attack. Nah, I'm going to let you guys 1v1. I think it would make for a better video right here. Okay. And you can see that Hercules is unsure what to do. So he's finally going in for the charge and lands it on the Zeus, who's at 74%. Now, the server is acting up just a little bit, which is a little weird. It's very late of the night for me. Oh, that was a nice pounce, which actually went over the surge from the Zeus. That looked hilarious. 89% for the Zeus and Hercules runs straight into the Thunderstruck right there. Getting knocked back with the furl three prone attacks. Zeus is at 69%. Hercules comes in with the charge and immediately gets it countered. And the Hercules gets eliminated. Now it's me and the Zeus. He's at 69%. And I missed that range collecting the bolt in my head. And I did not get the interrupt as I wanted. So I avoid the Thunderstruck and get hit with a Surge. Man, I'm getting hit with a lot of things that I shouldn't be right now. And that's not too great for me. I'll be very honest with you. If I keep getting hit, I'm going to get eliminated right there. So here comes out his ultimate. Going to dodge straight through. And I didn't dodge in time. That is actually a little worrying right now. I think I may have thrown the game. But we're still going to try here. Coming out with my ultimate. And he dodges through. And I get hit out with the hold heavy. Sorry, just the heavy attack. Not the hold heavy. The heavy attack by the Zeus. Bringing his team one point. That was a fantastic job on his part. I messed up a lot. But he did such a great job 1v1. And then interrupting most of my abilities. And taking advantage of my mistakes. And that's what this game is all about. So we're hitting Zeus out. And the Izanami with the perfect support. As I keep saying, these two have very nice synergy with each other. Dodging through into some nice side attacks for the Izanami. And the bolt comes out for the Zeus. Into the scythe for me knocking him back. And the air heavy attack works in my favor so as we look to wait for the zeus to come back in i'm gonna go off on this izanami because my hercules buddy was having some trouble right there all right so izanami is invisible going in with the scythe does it eliminate zeus no he actually survives which is actually incredible right there he does use surge i think hercules is gonna get knocked out any second i need to try my best to peel for him if possible that was a very nice pounce from the hercules i'm gonna go in for my scythe he hovers with the spare sorry the bolt that was so smart on his part right there. I should have gone in for an air light, air heavy attack. And I have my dodge, so we're going to dodge through, and I ruined it. Now, Hercules does have his ultimate, and he's swinging around. I miss my scythe going in for my ultimate, and it misses completely. There goes Hercules. I messed that round out massively, missing my abilities. They both may be in purple, and I almost fell down there. I'm going to use my mobility to stay up in the sky. I'm not going to reactivate it just to get back on, and I miss that completely. Getting hit by the charge, eliminating us out. What I should have done there in hindsight, I should have waited and used my scythe instead, which have probably given me a chance to get that round. Again, mistakes happen, but you're seeing how it is to play, and the synergy of the enemy team is so wonderful right now, how they counter for each other. I should make a guide on how to play 2v2s properly. Okay, so we're going in there for air light, air heavy. I get countered already, and Hercules is getting pounced on by the both of them, which is actually... Oh, wow. He gets destroyed really early. Now it's a 1v2. I get hit by the charge out from the Izanami, and Zeus is there. I think Zeus is trying to let me 1v1 now. I'm not 100% sure, but we're getting hit back, and I'm not able to do too much. So we're looking to see if we can get the interrupt nice into the side. She's at purple range. Now get that air light, air heavy. Does not knock her out, so I take this guy to dodge, and I try it again, but the air heavy does land, but it was not enough. She does have ultimate, and I think this is GG for me as I ran into it out there. GG, wonderful game. My win streak ends at 2. 